Now let's look at the throttle on the flat top. This took a lot of time and effort and a lot of years and years of just experience to know how to design the throttle on the flat top. First of all, I took off all the different buttons because many of the throttles will literally have three or even four different switches on the throttle. And especially newer people, when they get in a panic situation, you'll see them forget which button is which. So the flat top, I used one simple switch. If you have an electric start unit, up is start, down is kill. If you have a pull start unit, we wire both up and down to kill the motor. So you have one simple button. Now another major catastrophic flaw with a lot of paramotors is they use a huge bicycle brake for a throttle. Well, that is a major issue. For one, you're constantly hooking it on lines and getting it snagged. There's even a crash on YouTube where you can see the guy got it locked in his riser, locked in full throttle, and he actually spun into the ground and crashed breaking his back because of a bicycle brake throttle. Another major issue is what happens when you trip and fall down. Well, the first thing you're gonna land on is that bicycle brake throttle, where the flat top even has a grip safety, so you have to be gripping it in order for the trigger to work. If you let go of that grip, you cannot actuate the throttle on the flat top. That way, if you fall down and you open your hand as though you're gonna fall, you just disengage so it's impossible for you to hit the trigger and engage the throttle. These are just a few of the design features uh, that's on the flat top throttle. Uh, well, let me hit another one. This elastic, people don't think about it, but this needs to break. This needs to be flimsy. Another major issue that's happened with other units is combined with their super flimsy netting, people get their throttle cable into the propeller. Well, if they have that and then they also have this big Velcro or strong strap locking their hand to the throttle, it rips their arm back into the propeller. That's happened many, many times. So on the flat top, I made this a very slim, simple piece of elastic which will hold your hand with any size glove. It's very easy to get in, as well as it will tear free if you rip it really hard. You can actually rip your hand out of there, so you're not gonna get you know, your hand ripped back into the prop. Of course, with the flat top's cage being that strong, uh, highly unlikely, but we prepare for everything. Anything that's possible, we design to make safer. So look for those defined features on the flat top paramotor.